Hi there, this is Jack from techwithintent.com and I'm making a quick video to talk about Google Reader Bundles. Google Reader is an RSS aggregator, a way of receiving information from blogs and news sites around the web and viewing them in a single place. Uh, this is huge for time savings um, and it also gives you the ability to share out some of this information from one location. A uh, quick overview, this is my homepage. I'm subscribed to a lot of different blogs which I group into different folders. The main way to share is on a post by post basis. So here I have a post and I'm enjoying it. So at the bottom I have the ability to share via Google Plus. I can email it and I can send it to various social networks that are integrated with my Google account. This is great for sharing a single post uh, but often teachers want to share a group or a bundle of RSS feeds. This is particularly useful if you have a class full of individual bloggers and you want everyone to subscribe to everyone else's blogs in a single click. So Google's offered this for a while. It's called Bundles uh, and you can create a bundle from the Browse for Stuff tab here. The issue is, um, as is noted online by Alec Koros and Chris Kraft and a few other people, the sharing options for bundles are not working. Uh, and this is kind of a new thing. So if I were to look at a Google bundle, for instance, this news bundle and click on it, clicking on nine feeds activates some JavaScript, which shows me the feeds that are within the bundle. And I also have a subscribe button that I can click and I will be subscribed to each of these blogs or news sites within Google Reader with that single click. The difference is when you do so with your own bundle and you wanna create a bundle clip or you wanna preview it, they don't work. I can't click on the feeds and I can't subscribe. These buttons seem to be dead. So a number of people have been doing some testing with the emailing or bundle clips, adding links or the OPML file. None of them seem to be working. Uh, and it's unclear whether this is intentional by Google or not. But I just figured out today that by clicking the preview bundle button here, you can actually grab the entire URL and then go into another Google Reader account. This is a different account than the one I was looking at previously. And when I paste that URL, the preview URL, in Google Reader, which opens, I will see the bundle and the JavaScript seems to work. And subscribing actually does work. So now you can see down my left-hand nav, I am subscribed to the bundle test that was created by MetaJackJack, but I'm subscribed in a different account. So I can run through that process one more time. Here's my tech directors folder for MetaJackJack. And I'm going to create a bundle with a shortcut. I can save that bundle. And none of these buttons work here. But if I click preview and then copy and paste the URL into a different account, in the new account, I can see the feeds and I can subscribe successfully to the feeds and they'll appear in my sidebar just like that. So I hope this is useful. Hope that Google fixes the other options, but in the meantime, uh, you can continue using Google Bundle with your students. Good luck.